This is Appendix B, the review assignment. We open a file called Track Review, and then we save that file as Track Review Report. In Question 2, we need to make a copy of the Employee Data Worksheet. So I'll select that, hold down Control, as I drag it to the right. When I let go, I have a second copy, or Employee Data 2. I'll double-click that Sheet tab and call it Q2 for Question 2. In Question 2, we're asked to complete the criteria range up here at the top of the spreadsheet. What we want to look at are part-time employees, or PT, who have an annual salary more than 60000 and who have worked two or more years. So that would be PT for part-time, annual salary is greater than 60000 and the years of service is greater than or equal to two. In addition to that, we also want to look at consultants. We're going to filter everybody out but consultants and part-timers with an annual salary greater than 60000 with two or more years of service. Now we go to the Data tab and we choose Advanced Filter. In the Advanced Filter, we're going to filter the list in place, meaning it's going to happen right here. Our list range has been indicated. It's a6 through M106 and our criteria range is this area at the top that we just typed our criteria in. So we want to highlight from A1 through M3. That way we pick up both of these criteria. So we'll click OK and you can see that that's working. So our annual salary for part-timers is greater than 60,000. They've worked more than two years and here are the rest of our consultants. Moving along to question three. Again, we take the employee data sheet. We make a copy. We name this one Q3. In the criteria area at the top of the sheet, what we're going to do is set this up so that we're looking for all part-time employees working in Austin. All right, so let's look at job status is part-time and the location is Austin. But in addition to that, we want to look at all the full-time employees. Job status would be full-time, working at home, and earning $40,000 or more. Annual salary is greater than or equal to $40,000. Again, we'll use the advanced filter. So we'll go to Data, Advanced. It already knows our list range. We'll fill in our criteria range, which is A1 through M3. We'll click OK. And so there are the records that meet that criteria. In step number four, we're going to complete a worksheet called Employee Summary. Here we're going to calculate the number of female employees that have a PPOI or a PPOF type of health plan. So we have to set up criteria for that and the criteria ranges are over here. The criteria for the first one would be that sex is equal to F or female and that the health plan is a PPOI. Now you'll need to go along and fill in all of these let's get over here and do a count. The command that you need is a decount or a database count. The reason you can't use a regular count or a count if is because you have two sets of criteria. Sex is equal to female and health plan is equal to PPOI. So this is how we would do that. You would enter a decount and the first argument here, in fact let me flip this into the into the insert function box so you can see. The database is the first argument. So this is saying in the employee table, which is back on the employee data tab, and this means all of the fields. So look at all of the fields in the employee table. Look in the ID field, and this is what they're using for counting. So it's going to count the ID if the G5 through H6 criteria is met. And remember, in G5 through H6, this is where we said sex equals F or female and health plan is equal to PPOI. When we click OK, 
we see that we have seven females. I'll do a couple more of these and then I'll pause the video so you can finish. So let's go over here to the male and let's do the same thing. So this is going to be equal D count. The database is that employee table and we need to indicate that we want it to look through all fields because we're using two fields for criteria so we need it to look everywhere. The field that we wanted to count is the ID field. And I know it's very unusual to put quotes around a field name. Our database functions are really old. They're from years and years ago. And uh, years and years ago, this is how you had to do it. So they haven't really updated these. And now our criteria range for males would be sex equals male, health plan equals PPOI, or the range J5 through K6. And when I press enter, that tells me that I have four males and seven females using this health plan. So then we can add those up. We'll just do a simple sum, or I could have used the sum button. Now you go along and you do exactly the same thing, except that your criteria here is going to be in this range, G9 through H10. And then for the males, this will be the criteria. I've gone ahead and filled all of this table in and you can examine these numbers and make sure that yours match mine. And let's go ahead and calculate a total. That's easy. We're just going to highlight all three cells, hit our sum button, and uh, the grand total should add up to 100 because we have 100 records. So let's move along now down to this area below where we have total salaries by year, years of service and sex. So here what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, sum ifs. Uh, we can't do a regular sum if because we have multiple criteria. The years of service has to be greater than zero and less than four, and the sex has to be female. So all of that means we're going to have to do a sum ifs. Now, I've gone ahead and I've typed the function in here because it is so long, so I'd like to direct your attention to it. So we're going to use a sum ifs, and then we're going to look at the employee table and add up the salary if years of service is greater than zero and years of service is less than or equal to four and the employee's sex is equal to F. It might be easier to understand this if I click the insert function and get this dialog box. Then you can see exactly how this lays out. My formula starts with equal sum ifs and I open my paren and then I put in all of this criteria. The deal with the sum ifs is that you can have multiple criteria ranges. So here we have our criteria range 1 and then its criteria, range 2 and its criteria. And if you scroll down, you'll see that we have a criteria range 3 and its criteria, which is sex is equal to F. So all of that creates that function. And that will return about a million point four. So this is the total salary of females who've had this number of years of service. I went ahead and filled in the male, and I'll click on that cell so that you can see that long formula. Now you can refer to the answer key in Blackboard if you need to study that form formula further, but I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and fill the rest of these in. So here we are with our little table filled in. You can examine these. All of these functions were some ifs. I'll click on this one here just so you can get another look at it in the formula bar. This one's so long you can't see it, so we'll have to extend the formula bar. If you need to pause the video so you can study this, that's fine. Otherwise, this is the end of the video.